Hi, and uh, welcome to Galleons. This is a popular Roblox game. Um, I am Theodore Hip, presenting to you from the Creeper Core headquarters. I'm here, sitting behind a computer, and I'm going to now narrate to you how to play Galleons. It's a pretty popular game. I like it a lot. Most uh, people in Roblox like this game a lot. Now, um, to play the game, simply hit the play button and it'll be put into the game. It's uh, usually played out as most Roblox games. You spawn in on an area up here in the middle of nowhere. I like to wait for my character to load. Hold on. And, uh, yeah, you gotta choose which team you're on. There's, there's less people on the blue team, so it's gonna make me go to the blue team. If I try the red, it's not gonna let me. It's gonna tell me team's unbalanced, so I'm just gonna go into the blue team. It kills you, and you get teleported onto the blue ship. Now, this ship is pretty messed up, because, uh, there, are only, there were only guests on this team before I came along, and guests, I am sure most of you know guests, are not that good at playing Roblox, since they don't have experience. So I'm going to have to save these guys before the timer runs out, which I think is soon. There's no timer, so you just can only guess, but I think it's pretty soon, considering the damage done on the ships. Here, I'm just going to go and uh, try to get to the pilot seat, where you can actually control the uh, ship. Not Unlike in most ship games, where you sit there and it's either automated, which is also pretty cool, or uh, it just stands there because it's attached to the base plate, which totally sucks. So my usual strategy is to ram right into the ship because to make it into, to make it into a land battle, which I like the most, since I'm pretty nifty with the sword. But for this, I'm just gonna pull alongside them. The ships do move slow, which is rather realistic. Something I like about I like about this game. Um. Oh, there are several different strategies of doing this. The best one is to be to pull yourself along so your side is facing their uh, front. This will give your uh, ship the most cannons to shoot at them while they only have one or two, possibly three cannons pointing at you in the front, making them helpless unless they move, which usually takes a while, so that gives you the advantage. Um, for this, I'm just going to pull broadside, broadside with them just to uh, try to work this out and I'm gonna put on the cannon and as I said before I think the round is almost over cause of the uh... oh oh look at that round finished interesting so you should let you vote for the next ship one two three or four or five uh... I voted for four this time I'm not sure why I just randomly did that right after that you're gonna wanna reset and we can start in the beginning with this. Um, so you get onto your ship. I usually take the pilot seat first because I'm really good at piloting in this game. And I bring it around to the other guy's ship. This one, um, there's a uh, buy menu here where there's uh do decrease the amount of time it takes for your cannon to reload uh by sh shots for your flintlock by grenades by extended water time and some other stuff uh this can be bought with the gold you get um for gold you have to uh shoot or kill the others or blow up their ships you get points and at the end of the match it's converted to gold which then can be used for the next match for buying stuff from their shop. So right now I'm just going to update, upgrade my uh, time, my reload time. You start out with 10 gold in the game anyway, so I'm just going to use that. So I'm just going to bring my ship around here to contact the other ship. I usually You usually want to get your ship to the other ship as fast as possible because the round... Uh, only lasts for a little while. It doesn't last for that long. So I'm just gonna come in here and shoot the other ship. I don't know why, but the other team always seems to just stand there. They never move. Maybe because 
there's only maybe because there's only two guys on that team they just they can only use cannons at the moment they're just waiting for us but for now I'm just gonna bring this around I'm gonna go I'm, I'm actually gonna go ram them this time cuz I want to uh, you know I might, I might delay that ram I might do it now I'm not sure yet but I think I'll, I'm just gonna head over to them right now and uh, see what they do and I have two guys in the front, uh, two guests firing away at them. Kind of funny how the guests are doing the firing, and I'm just driving. Guests, they're not that smart, but they catch on pretty quick. Well, excuse me, they're they're <laughs> they're not that smart. They're they're the same humans as me. They're just not experienced, but they catch on pretty quickly. Yeah, for now, I'm just gonna uh, man a cannon in the front. See how much points I can get off these guys. <laughs> there's, a, there's a guy just jumped off in the sea. I guess he's kind of surrendering. He doesn't know that if you jump in the ocean, you die. I'm going to see if I can get him. Wait, no, I'll just Wait, what the? This cannon is very badly placed. I'm, I'm shooting the bricks off my own ship. Okay, I'm out of here. So now I'm going to head over to Captain Seed again. I'm going to... I decide, yeah, I'm gonna ram these guys, turn this into a land battle. Should make it a bit more interesting. Ah, oh, there's only one one guest on the other team. This is gonna be easy. I kinda feel sorry for him. Too bad for you, guest. You chose the wrong game to come to. You don't mess with the Theodore hip. Huh. <sighs> Boom. Hit the other ship. I'm going down, pull out my sword. I'm gonna go down and jump to the other ship. Whoa! I don't know how I survived that. Bomb hit me. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Okay. Kind of feel sorry just killing the guest. He's just standing there, just like looking off to the distance. Die! 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 Okay, he's gone. <laughs> um. Well, up here. Oh. I don't really like the spawn kill. So so I don't really like the spawn kill. I feel kinda of bad for this ghost. Oh wait, he has this flint lockout. That means he's aware. Okay, I can kill him now. Kill, kill, kill. Ah, he dies. Okay, since it's only one guest, I think I might just leave the server. I don't know. Let's make it kinda of boring. There's only one guy on the other team and he's a guest. I'm the only real Robloxian on this team. Oh look, we have stupid guys blowing up parts of our ship. Oh, he's smart. So I'm just gonna move this ship away from, uh... Oh look, there's more guys. I might just stay on the server. So I'm gonna just move this ship away from the other ship. Uh, cause I really don't want it to... Uh, I really don't feel like a land battle. Cause I don't... There's only one guy on the other team. So I'm just going to move this up alongside so we can just have full out cannon wars together. And I'm moving it. Oh, it's moving surprisingly fast for this ship. It's kind of cool. Swing, swing my ship around here and see what the cannoneers can do with this ship. Hmm, interesting. Almost got it. And okay. I'm going to mannequin myself so I can get myself some points. Boom, boom. My reload time's a bit better. It's not the best. It's a bit better. Now for, uh, every time you want to fire at another ship in this game, you're going to want to look for the barrels. For this one, you can actually see. Hold on, let me move my camera around. I'll show you where the barrels uh, If you look real close here, you can see a camera right next to my cursor. I'll point it out for you. Mm-hmm. See that? Those contain a lot of gunpowder in them. You're, want, you're gonna want to try to shoot towards them. That'll get you a lot of extra points and it'll help sink the enemy ship faster. Right now I'm just gonna see if I can blow up this guy here. <laughs> if you want them to be immobile, you blow up the station. I have to tell you that um the, pi the pilot's chair is 
one of the most resilient parts of the whole ship. So if you're going to do it, it's going to be really hard, but it will cause them not to be able to move, and you can stand there and blow the ship to smithereens. So they have a pretty decent ship here. I'm racking up points. My points are already uh, pretty good. My points are probably going to shoot through the roof once I get this uh, once I get this barrel. Guess trying to man a cannon next to me. Let's see if I can take crack this barrel. Man, there's always something in the way. Hit the staircase. Hit the staircase again. Come on, two more tries. Staircase. Come on, you can do it. Come on, come on. And boom. Okay, I got that barrel. That barrel, the one under the pilot seat, usually isn't the most powerful. As you can see right now, my points are almost as high as the highest sky in the whole game. Just because I blew up that barrel, went from 20 to almost 80. So, yeah. Well, um, that's pretty much galleons, I guess. You just gotta shoot the other ship, aim for the barrels, uh, try to blow up the other guys. You can see the other team's ship is sinking because we have a lot more guys on our team. Just you usually want to maneuver around so that you have the most cannons facing them and they have the least cannons facing you. So, once again, this has been the Creeper Core. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, this is Theodore Hip, one of the members. And, um, well, have a nice day.